There we go. We're back at it. Back at it live. In full effect. Welcome to Massive Beers. Massive Beer Mail unboxing number two of the night. Uh, a little heavy, hefty uh, Christmas Eve. Oh, for goodness. Second box we have today. Hill Farmstead. Now, full disclosure, I purchased this box. This wasn't sent to me by Hill Farmstead. Um, but, you know... I've been doing more unboxings and stuff. Even, you know, haven't done a really good beer haul in a while. And it's nice to get a little box of Hill Farmstead. And I didn't have to go up there. They do do shipping um, to certain states. Um, lucky enough to I have a second residence in Pennsylvania. And lo and behold, um, I got a box shipped um, over in the PA. And the other reason why I wanted to make the video is customer service. Banger. Customer service. Hill Farmstead, man. Um, I ordered this box. You know, it's kind of like, you know, all, you know, very, very popular breweries. It's got to get in, get out as quick as you can. Ended up doing that. Beer got shipped out. Tried to get delivered because it needed an adult signature. And NPA, they were very strict about that. My New Jersey peeps actually just leave it here. They don't take a signature from me. Not to blow you up. Um, UPS and FedEx in New Jersey. But anyway, um, in PA, uh, it didn't get delivered. They were going to attempt the next day. Broken. Somehow something broke. Box went back. I was like, "What do you? What do they do?" You know, that was on a Saturday. Monday they're like, "Hey, your box is back here. Here's some new stuff." Boom. A couple days later, it arrives. It was just like, like such a quick process of them kind of flipping and turning around the damaged box. It was just like awesome. It's like, God damn it! Why can't all customer service be like that? Like I went over. I like customer service. It's not hard. I, and I, and you know, I, I, I guess I work retail facing now, technically. They're running a print shop, but man, people are so bad at customer service. Like, my, I have a TV right now that is totally like defective. And I essentially just gave up on getting it replaced because the company was just giving me the runaround. And I'm just like, screw it. I don't want to deal with this anymore. And they basically like beat me down. Um, it was under warranty. It was definitely a defective issue. They sent me another defective one and they said, oh, you have to start the process all over again. It was just an absolute nightmare. So, um, yeah, anyway, not to complain, but so when you get really great customer service, it's absolutely fantastic. So what do we have here? Let's get this off to the side. So I don't think I have a stool. Actually, we can, we can manage it. Let's just break it like this and we'll go and we'll go through what we actually end up with here. So, first we have Hill Farmstead's Raspberry 2022 Harvest. Hey, look at that. Ewart. Merry Xmas to you. Ewart. Good to hear you. Hear from your brother. Hope you're having a great holiday with your family and whatnot. So, this is the Raspberry 2022 Harvest. It's an ale, age, and oak barrels with raspberries. And each harvest season, we choose various barrels of our Hill Farmstead ales that exhibit its sympathetic uh, characteristics for pairing with local fruit varieties. Yeah. Share, consider, and enjoy. I'm not going to read the whole side. You can watch the review of this. If I do a review, I'll probably not review all these, but um, just to see what the actual deets are, I'll read the whole thing here. Fruit, raspberry, source, Adams Berry Farm, Charlotte, Vermont, bottle conditioning since December 7th, 2022. Nice linen labor, a uh, lab labor label. Uh, next up, we have Wheat Blanc Farmstead Wheat Ale Agent Oak Barrels. Love iridescent reflectiveness. I can always get down with that. Um, man, I love their caps. I know it's so dumb. They have the best caps in the biz. In our uh, continued exploration of farmstead ales within various contents, uh, contexts and processes, we present the following beer in a lively, delicate, tart wine barrel conditioned ale with a grist bill comprised of 90% organically grown wheat and 10% organically grown barley. Share, consider, enjoy. Uh, bottle conditioning since March uh, 16th of 2022. Ingredients, organic barley, organic wheat, hops, yeast, and our well water. ABV. You know, it's on here. 46 degrees they want me to serve this at. No ABV. I'm sure it's low. Oh, now we got a 750 of our self reliance Mutweka dry hopped farmstead India pale ale conditioned in oak barrels. On the side here, we have uh, 
Ralph Waldo Emerson's essay, Self-Reliance, inspires and compels our persistent reflection, examination, and refinement. To that end, we present you a reimagining of our Self-Reliance series. Once our exploratory parallels, now our farmstead single hop India parallels. This edition features hand-selected Mutweka hops from Freestyle Farms, or architectural, arch, architectural, words are hard, partner in Upper Mutwear, New Zealand. We have here 2022 hop harvest, bottle condition since June 13th, 2023. Done and done. Yeah, they've I've had a couple of the self-reliances. Um, it's kind of like the same label. They just rotate the hops off them. Although I've never had a, a 750 milliliter one. They've all been the smaller 500 mils. A um, little bit of flora cherry up in this piece. We have Vanessa stopping by. She says, hello, Merry Christmas. Hello and Merry Christmas to you, too. Sipping on a little bit of Coors and Don Christmas Ale, because I do it proper. Just a quick tangent. Coors and Don Christmas Ale is absolutely bonkers crazy in New Jersey. I can get four packs of this for $7.99 and go down the street, and then they're $17.99. I don't know why the disparity exists. I go to the place that it's seven ninety nine. Anyway, floor cherry, farmstead ale, wheat ale, aged in oak barrels with cherries. That's not what we have over here. It says floor is a wine barrel aged version of Florence, uh, Edward's sister, as well as the name of our wheat farmstead ale. Each blend of the namesake beer rests in oak for an undetermined period. For many months to several years, it embodies our per, uh, progressive vision for Hill Farmstead, a pursuit guided by natural intuition. Share, consider, enjoy. Again, there's more to it. Tune in the review. Uh, varieties, uh, Blanton, Juliet, North Star, uh, Carmine Jewel, and Scandinavian cherries. Uh, source, Brett's Orchard, uh, Cabot, Vermont. Uh... Bottle condition since September 15th, 2021. Hill Farmstead Brewery, Greensboro, Blend, Bend, Vermont. 52 degrees on this sucker. Two more bottles. First world play. Goddamn, I get these cracks on my thumbs. You can probably see it's like goddamn thing right there. Your mouse. Anyway, that thing right there, that little crack. Come on. Oh, it's okay. I think I touch. It happens on both my thumbs every uh, every winter, but this year, uh, past two years, much worse because I'm working in. You know, I run a picture shop. I touch paper all day. So we have Table Dorothy. This beer is not going to last long. I want to open it right this second. <laughs> um, it says, Dorothy was Edward's sister. Hill Farmstead Brewery rests upon the land that was once home to her and her 13 siblings. To honor, to, In her honor, we offer this low-alcohol version of her namesake beer. Uh, this hoppy farmstead ales crafted from American malted barley, mar malted wheat, American hops, and a distinctive yeast blend and water from our well. Dry hopped and filtered and naturally carbonated. This is the ale that I dreamed to have shared with Dorothy. I believe I've reviewed this before, actually. Um, bottle conditioning since January 2nd, 2023. And they want you to rip this at 52 degrees. Now, they talk about this being low ABV. That's why, for some reason, I, I'm missing the ABV on all these. And I, I just I kind of think I assume they'd all be on there. But maybe not. I don't know. Coors and Dunk. Take a back seat now. And last. East. San L. This is a farmstead ale brewed with honey and aged in wine barrels. It says here, Samuel Hill uh, was Edward's great uncle and brother of Ephraim. Uh, we served in, uh, he served in the Union Army at the Battle of Gettysburg. An early architectural innovator, he held several patents for uh, milk cooling and cream separation. He moved a house midwinter with horses, horses from North Greensboro to Greensboro Village and also helped to build the first road from Greensboro to Greensboro Bend. 
an attempt to honor this intrepid relative, we have crafted a base of buckwheat spelt and Vermont wildflower honey, following shifting seasons of rest in wine barrels and months of bottling condition. We're finally able to present a beer worthy of Sam L's name. Jared, consider and enjoy. Bottle conditioning since December 15th, 2021. They want this at 52. That's it. That's our that's our little whole form sim haul. It was nice. Not cheap, but nice. Um, but I will tell you what. And like I said at the beginning, you know, customer service just goes such a long way. Um, you know, when in when you buy stuff and you want people to just be real with their products and and honoring things and stuff like that. And when you have, you know, the shit goes sideways on a, on a shipment like this, to see a brewery just not, not even accommodate, but, but so quickly. And just, it's like, there's no if, ands, or buts. You know, a lot of breweries would be like, oh, we only had three of those. Uh, do we substitute it for something? Uh, not that I would have cared. I honestly, if they were like that, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Whatever, man. I don't care. I'm not going to be whatever. whatever. It's just awesome. And it's nice to actually, you know, have some of these, Beers that typically takes me, you know, a very long trip um, to go get. And uh, I'm looking forward to reviewing. I'm really curious. I th I'm almost positive I've done ta either Dorothy or Table Dorothy before. Um, and I know I've done a bunch of Hill Farms. And I'm just going to have to go through my uh, go through my little roll decks of what I've done over the years and, and see what I've had and see what I haven't had. But, um, yeah, there you go. Reviewing the books or unboxing the books, I should say. We'll... Uh, automatic pilot right there so hopefully enjoy this little unboxing hopefully having a great christmas vanessa Ewart, love y'all you're the lions dude your life has to be fantastic right now I'm, my team's in the playoffs your team's in the playoffs i don't know what the hell's going on anyway hopefully you all enjoyed this unboxing hopefully you're enjoying some good beer right now hope to see you next time here's y'all